Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Jason. All right, let's take a look at this province. Uh, we have a two feet diameter drum weighing 25 pounds that has a brake shoe device, which is used to suspend a, a weight of W. Okay, so you can see here there's a drum with a brake brake shoe assistance. And um, when you uh, push the brake, it will uh, stop the the drum from rotating, and then create uh, the friction at the interface of um, the drum and this block. Okay, and the drum axle is mounted in an oval shaped hole so that the uh, the full weight of the the actual beers are a sliding block. Okay, so that means this block is sitting on top of this block. And the full weight of the block, uh, a full weight of the drum goes into the block, and the pulley and axle are frictionless, so there are no frictions happening, and in the axle, okay. And we're going to determine what is the maximum force P that must be applied to each brake shoe to stop the rotation of the block of the drum when the maximum weight is suspended. Okay, so you can see here we're looking for the situations when maximum weight is happening, is suspended. Okay, so what does that mean? That means when the maximum weight is uh, suspended, it would it means the the full friction on these two surfaces are created, right? So you can generate. Um, the maximum, the maximum resistance force to with withstand this loading. Okay, so if you draw the free body diagram of this block, okay, so this is your thirty pounds block, and you have a loading here W, and you'll have your friction at this two surface. So the first surface is at the drum and the block, and the second surface is at the the block in this um, platform all right so when when w is at x maximum for this assistance uh, to to take the full friction should be generated right so f1 will um so this friction f1 of this first interface is as it's uh, maximum two, okay? So, how does these uh, friction one coming from? Okay, so you'll have your um, drum weight W one. Let's assume that's W one, and it will create a normal force M one, right? Because the full weight of the drum is sitting on top of the, it's transferring to, to the block. So M1 equals to W1, right? And then F1 is mu1 times N1, which is 0 0.35 times um, W1, which is 25 pounds. So that's 8.75 pounds, okay? So now we know that the friction, um, the full friction at this interface is 8.75 pounds. Okay, so once we know that, we can move on to the um, free body diagram on of this drum. Okay, so associated with this normal force P. Okay, so this is your drum, and the the friction the friction should go this way, F one, right? Because if the F1 is pointed this way on the block, the F1 on the drum should point in on the opposite direction. Okay. So let's erase this part. Okay. So F1 is pointing to the right on the drum. And then we have our normal force P pushing the drum and then 
it will create a friction to stop the drum from rotating. But first of all, we have to know what is the directions of the rotating this. So when the the frictions of F1 is created this way, it will take the, the drum rotating counterclockwise, right? So this is the um, rotations of the drum from the driving force. So the friction generated from this normal force P should uh, to resist the, the drum from rotating clockwise. So the force F is pointing this way. So you'll create a clockwise rotation. Okay. All right. So once we know, once we confirm these directions, we can use the force uh, equilibrium equation to find out the, our um, friction F capital F and then and then the, the normal force P okay so the actual is right here assume that's the point O and then we can use the the moments about point O to set up the force equilibrium equation so first of all you will have your small F1 F1 times the moment arm which is uh, the radius of the drum which is one feet because this is a two feet diameter drum and that should equals to the the force the the, ro the the moments generated from the friction capital F so F times its moment arms that's two feet right so that means capital F is F1 divided by two okay so F and then F equals to the mu1 times normal force P which is 0.35 times P okay so we can put it back to this equation so F1 is 8.75 divided by 2 that equals to 0 0.35 P so that means P is 8.75 divided by 2 times 0 0.35 so that's 12.5 pounds all right, so the answer is uh, C, 12.5 pounds. All right, so for this problem, uh, the, the key point is we're looking for the situation where the maximum weight is suspended. So that means you're going to use your full friction capacity um, at either interface. So we can use this information to go forward to to tr to find out the the normal force P to create the uh, that created the the frictions at the interface of the drum and this brake shoe to to counter your um, four frictions at the interface of this uh, at the interface of the um, drum and the block okay so um, this is not very straightforward but uh, once you have your free body diagram set up and then you understand the information the, um, the idea that we're looking for the situations when the maximum weight is suspended then uh, you'll be able to set up the a force equilibrium equations to find out your normal force p okay all right so that's it for today thank you for watching